Did you know breastfeeding benefits mom's health and well-being in lots of ways? And the many advantages of breastfeeding for mothers starts from the very first feed and lasts for several months or years. In the previous video, we had a look at long-term health benefits of breastfeeding for mothers. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link in the description box below. This video will explain short-term health benefits of breastfeeding for mothers. All information provided here is based on studies and scientific data and all the links are in the description box below. First benefit is stronger bond with your baby. Evidence shows that breastfeeding helps you bond with your baby. Mothers who chose to breastfeed displayed enhanced mothering behavior compared to those who chose to bottle feed. This means things like moms making eye contact for longer, having faster responses and caressing their babies more. Second advantage of breastfeeding is few anxiety and postpartum depression. Due to oxytocin, the love hormone and prolactin in the mother induced by breastfeeding, a mother has few anxiety and a lower risk of postpartum depression. The third benefit of breastfeeding is less stress and blood pressure and even increased pain threshold. Again, oxytocin will help you become calmer, reduce stress and blood pressure and even raise your pain threshold for as long as you continue to breastfeed. The other benefit is period stop. Studies show breastfeeding suppresses ovulation, so your periods may not return for several months after childbirth. This means that breastfeeding is a pretty good method of contraception. In fact, it's at least 98% effective. However, this method works only if a woman exclusively breastfeeds her baby. When your baby doesn't get any fluids or foods other than breast milk and is fed by demand day and night during the first six months postpartum and the woman does not menstruate. Several studies show that exclusive and predominant breastfeeding after six months postpartum reduces the chances of getting pregnant by 23% compared to non-breastfeeding and 21% when compared to partial breastfeeding. If you don't want to get pregnant, you need to take extra precautions. Fifth benefit is more sleep. When your baby wakes for milk at night, as 78.6% of infants of 6 to 12 months of age at least wake up once at night, whether they are breastfed or bottle fed, breastfeeding tends to be the quickest, easiest way of feeding him. You can even do it lying down, and the oxytocin and other hormones released during breastfeeding should help both of you fall asleep again quickly afterwards. If you breastfeed, you may actually get more sleep than if you give your baby formula or practice mixed feeding. One study found that parents of infants who were breastfed in the evening or at night slept an average of 40-45 minutes more than parents of infants given formula. And the last but not the least maternal advantage of breastfeeding is convenience. Although it can be exhausting in the early weeks, once you and your baby are practiced at breastfeeding, the convenience of breastfeeding is a huge benefit. You can feed at any time with minimal hassle and effort. There is no boiling, mixing, cooling and sanitizing. You don't have to remember to pack formula feeding related paraphernalia when you are out. You just unclip your bra and get it going. Thank you for watching.